Hello Pisces and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Let's take a look at the cards and the messages that Spirit would like to ring through for you for the week ahead. This is a general reading so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Let's take a look at your first card. Believe in the impossible. So this is really important this week because you're going to perhaps find that something happens unexpectedly. It seems like you're going to have an event or a circumstance or a conversation that takes place which seems impossible to that it's come about, impossible to manifest. Uh, you're perhaps thinking that that's the case or you'll definitely feel when this um, happens when this circumstance, this synchronistic event or um, or a conversation, it's different for everyone how it will play out, but you will definitely feel in the moment that it's a once in a blue moon event or um, circumstance. So this is very exciting. I feel the energy of a miracle turning up in your life. The miraculous is going to be at your doorstep. It's going to be knocking on your door, wanting to come into your life. And your eyes are definitely going to be opened because what seemed impossible is actually possible. And you're going to start to see that your eyes will definitely be open. So I love that energy, Pisces. That's going to be wonderful when that comes through into your life this week. Let's take a look at this card here is yours. Let's see what it says. We travel because we need to, because distance and difference are the secret tonic to creativity. When we get home, home is still the same, but something in our minds has changed and that changes everything. So we have a, a message here of travel, which may be around you this week and you'll know if that's right for you and also um, there's an energy of creativity and I feel that you want to really be creative with something you're thinking inspired thoughts and you really want to move forward in in a particular creative way in your life and it's a little bit different to what people expect perhaps it's a little bit outside of the box but there is a powerful energy behind it. So I want to say that it's important you go ahead and and you do this thing, this different thing that you're thinking of, that you're wanting to put into action to explore this creative side of yourself. Let's see what the musing is. Travel often, never stop growing, learning and creating. Beautiful. And the affirmation is, I will allow space in my life to travel. Beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at this deck of cards for Pisces. Guidance for Pisces, please, spirit. This one here. And this one here, I feel, is your card as well. Oh, there's two there. Okay, well, we'll take both of them. So the first card, let's see what it says. We have attention. So this is interesting because it's definitely going to catch your attention um, because it seems impossible when this turns up in your life. It might be a person, it might be a relationship that enters your life um, and maybe your dream job. Um, it's just something that you don't expect to happen and it will definitely grab your attention because it will seem unusual, very positive, but unusual. <laughs> okay. And we have willingness. You'll be open and you'll be willing to move with this energy, to accept an opportunity, to see where things go. So there is an openness and a willingness for you to accept that magic is possible and that your uh, belief in the impossible is actually is going to change. Um, whatever you think here that is impossible, you have a willingness to open your mind and accept things um, and accept the blessings, accept the miracle in. So that's beautiful. And forgiveness is around you as well. So 
Forgiveness, perhaps because you didn't believe that something was possible. You may also know that forgiveness is necessary in a relationship or forgiveness of self or forgiveness of someone else in your life um, is important this week or important in general. And this week there may even be an opportunity for that forgiveness to play out in your life. So that, that's very healing. And let's take a look at this uh, deck of cards here. Okay, this one here. And also I feel this one is yours, Pisces. So let's take that one as well. Tell the truth with grace and love. And my relationships are transformed. So it's about being open and honest with yourself and others. And you know, what I'm seeing is that there is someone who's going to be open and honest with you. Um, perhaps they haven't been there's there's been deception there with you before there's been untruths and perhaps this is what you thought would never come to pass you thought maybe was impossible this person telling the truth and acting in integrity and a relationship being able to transform well it looks like that's on the way for you with these cards which is really nice and this card here my hormones are beautifully balanced. So I love this. Of course, if you have any hormonal issues, then it looks like those are going to be balanced out. There's going to be a relief there and a healing there. But balance in general in a relationship, we have black and white here of these dogs. So I feel the symbolism here is speaking of balance in a relationship, balance in your um, in your life. So that's going to be a focus this week to bring balance and harmony into your life in some way, especially with these uh, dog energies, I'd say within a friendship, uh, maybe within a companionship type relationship. Okay. Guidance for Pisces, please spirit. Guidance and message for Pisces. Let's start with this card here. The Knight of Pentacles, this is an earth sign, so you may have an earth sign around you significant in your life. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, it's not a fast moving knight. He doesn't look like he's actually going anywhere at the moment. The horse is standing still. So you're contemplating something at the moment. You're planning. You're preparing. You are. You're in the flow of trying to create something successful for yourself materially. So that may mean um, work and, and finances, um, maybe in the home environment, but I do see that for some. I'm also seeing with this night that there is, um, it's connected in here to these energies of balancing and um, someone telling the truth or you being very honest. Um, because there's reliability with the Knight of Pentacles. So someone may, you may be able to rely on someone or someone is relying on you. The Queen of Wands, a fire sign around you. You may have to hold yourself back from saying something to someone. I'm seeing this energy here of the, the lion where... It, you, got this chain around the lion and I feel this is you wanting to say something but you're going to hold back you're going to be reserved because it might not be the right time or it's just not appropriate at the moment perhaps it's linked in here to forgiveness somehow because we have a lot of yellow in this card and the yellow is standing out for me on this flower so communication holding something back forgiveness the emperor so it may be to do with um masculine energy um, this masculine energy is the father archetype so there's a fathering influence grandfather influence um, there's also a divine masculine influence coming into play and this is very empowering because the emperor is about structure and so things seem very ordered this week which is interesting because we have orderliness with the knight of pentacles reliability practicality and the emperor but then we have this beautiful card up the top here believe in the impossible which is not really 
at all the same energies as, the, as these two as these two cards. So I feel that it's going to be so very surprising when this energy comes through. And that's why it will seem like a miracle that it takes place. Something happens once in a blue moon, that energy, because everything is so structured, perhaps even rigid, um, definitely reliable, practical, logical, these types of things. So you have this coming in out of the ether um, into your week. So very interesting. And the Eight of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups is about moving away from a person, a place, a situation that isn't right for you anymore. You feel a calling in your heart to go elsewhere. Um, it does tie into travel. We do have travel with this card here. So you might be feeling a longing to go somewhere, to visit some place. And it looks like you will be making that journey or at least planning for that journey uh, this week. Uh, the Eight of Cups can also mean that you're feeling a soul, a soul urge or a soul calling to pursue um, a career or pursue a life purpose type of energy. And so I feel the support of spirit coming in here. It might seem impossible at the moment for following your dreams because you have uh, material things, practical things to worry about. But there is a dream here. There's something very beautiful that you're holding within yourself you're holding within your soul that seems impossible but I feel there's going to be an opportunity coming in this week or sometime very soon for you to express that for you to start to take real worldly steps towards it and the nine of wands so rough seas things have been a bit tumultuous in your life in some respect um, this week, it can mean that there are some rough waves that you're going to have to navigate. There may be a storm or two, um, but they will pass. I am seeing that this is you standing your ground and having a lot of strength and not giving in. Um, so I'm seeing a lot of determination here as well. So it looks like you've stood your ground with someone, even though they might not have, um, or you've put up some barriers with someone and it looks like they're coming to the party now it looks like they're being truthful it looks like they're opening up um, which is going to pave the way for um, harmony and balance to come into the relationship so I do see that um, but the overall energy here of the nine of wands is um, weathering the storms and even though you've been hurt or injured or you have been and, and injured maybe physically or mentally or emotionally wounded, of course, um, there is a pathway forward. There is a different way to do things. And you might be planning that out slowly but surely. And there will be an opportunity. The impossible will show itself that, to become possible uh, this week or sometime soon where you're able to move toward what your heart desires. So very powerful cards and energies coming through for you, Pisces. I hope you have enjoyed the reading. I hope it's been helpful for you in some small way. If you did like the reading, you can click the like button or subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all of your support on my channel. Have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.